shaking, bacon. It's one minute before the show starts. Yeah. One minute before the show, and you go, cool, Greg. My brother comes in the room, you go, get me a two liter of DC. DC. He goes, got you, bro, which is immediately he goes back, he gets back there. Kevin looks at you. Kevin looks at you, Nate, yeah. right in the fucking eye. And he goes, DC, are we really doing that now? Mm -hmm. And you go, yeah, if you shorten it, you can drink more of it. drink more of it. Think about all the time. I don't know that the logic works, but then Cool Grey brings not one, not two, but three two liters yeah. out. Yeah. And ask you which one you want. I said both. Because one was closed, two <laughs> was open already. Yeah, first off, here's what I'm going to say about this. Let's put these next to each other. You fucking people in this office are monsters. And by you people, I mean Andy. What the fuck? Because <laughs> Andy's the only other person that drinks diet soda in here. Who leaves this last little swig in here to get flat? And then you open this one. What's he going to do? Open the third one? Probably. First, I shout Probably. out to Snowbike Mike for bringing the party yesterday. Hell yeah. Along with oh the t-shirts. I, mean, I miss him. Why did he leave? I don't know. I was like, are you going to hang out? He's like, no. Yeah, I'm bigger, like, better things, do you want to hang? Do, would you want to hang out? He's going like, up to Tahoe. No, I'm good. It's the season for believing. Oh, Santa my God. Claus. He stopped by for all of five Tahoe, seconds. Ho, ho. Changed my life. Mm -hmm. Left. It's like, yeah. we got to go back up to it. I'm like, why don't you just stay? Why don't you just stay? We'll put a little bed out for you, like a little porty cot. You can sleep. It'll be fun. We have a bed. We do have a bed. Did you see uh, Porty's new little bed? No. The banana bed? Mm -mm. They got him a banana bed? They did. I just saw the pumpkin packs, uh, patch pictures, and I was... Uh, I literally, I drove Greg home the other day, mm -hmm. and I was like, wow, that pumpkin patch like look that we drove past looks really, really cool. And he's like, yeah, I'm taking you know the family there on the weekend. I was like, like, is, am I going to get that invite, yeah, or like, what's up? Go. Yeah, Gia this weekend looked at me, and she's like, Tim, um, unless you, we have kids, we're never going to a pumpkin patch. And I'm like, that's fucking fair, and that's why I love you. That's bullshit. Yeah. First why, off, why, yeah, why would pumpkin you? patches are fun Because I'm the fuck. Grinch, Kevin. I am. No, no, I'm saying why would you go to a pumpkin patch unless you have kids? Oh, okay, good. You're on my side. Well, I'm all on your side. Thank you. Now, that I've being been to said, multiple pumpkin patches and I don't have any kids that I know about. I'm always, yeah, I know, but you're a fucking weirdo who like shouldn't be around kids. I like happiness and I like positivity. Okay, that's sure. That's mm -hmm. what it is. That's what it is. Oh, my that's God, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is the Kind of Funny Morning Show. We do this Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. PT here on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames. And you're joining us, which makes you extra special human beings. Of course, if you can't watch because you're living in a different time zone or another dimension, and all you get is YouTube there instead of Twitch. If you're living in the alternate dimension where YouTube took over and just demolished Twitch, which will happen one day probably, uh, then you can watch this. Give us a little bit of a thumbs up on there and leave just a comment. A bit. The Not comment. Too much. What's the word of the day today, Tim? The word of the day today is scrumptious. Scrumptious. Try spelling scrumptious spell with two Ks. How about that? Two Ks? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know where a K could go. There is that. Scrum. S-K? You spell, you spell oh, it with K a without a C. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Scrumptious with, with two Ks. With two K. <laughs> Just put another K in there. See how you can work it in. Put another K in there. <laughs> put as many Ks in the scrumptious as you possibly not can. As many. Not as Not, not three more than two. Just like, two. Don't go crazy. Just yeah, two. Don't go crazy. You guys, right now we're having discussion about like whether or not it's stupid to go to a pumpkin, pumpkin patch. patch? Yeah. yeah. But I have no... Which, again, not a go. fan of going to pumpkin patches. Yeah. Uh, adults. Mm -hmm. That being said, I will go tr like to chop down a tree any fucking time... Anytime. Well, there is, let's you be honest, the there's a difference between, oh, now see, this is what I don't like about this. That is some flat ass soda. Yeah. Andy, I didn't even, I didn't even hear it. any sizzle there. That, there was no Which no one part. of these monsters didn't finish this one it's and started this Andy. one? Okay, but the fact that there's like three different unopened Diet Cokes in there is like upsetting. Like, why don't we go through one bottle at a time? That, that's, that's, the, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what they're saying, yeah. And I think the answer to that question, Joey, is Andy. I think that's true. I think Andy... Started drinking out of this one near his desk and was like, Ooh, and then put it back. Now he doesn't respect the DC. This it's is the DC true. culture in. The other day I was in uh, when we were in Toronto. I had the best thing on the planet happen. Best thing too. I ordered. I was like, can I get a uh, a diet coke from a server? And he was like, yeah, yeah, no problem. And he went around and then he came back to me. He's like, wait a minute, did you say diet coke or diet Pepsi? And I was like, well, and he's like, because we only have diet coke. And I was like. Yeah. My man. He's like, you want to die Pepsi, right? Because we only have Diet Coke. And Jesus. I was like, first off. Don't insult me. First off, Canada. I don't know what kind of fucking bizarro dimension that you guys live in over yeah. there where Pepsi is preferred over Coke, but. Y'all need the best Come part. Can we roll in uh, the housekeeping? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Sure. <laughs> oh, fucking graphics not working now. No audio. I hate this fucking machine so much. It's great. Well, I'm glad we roll on it. Uh, let's bring this up. <laughs> <laughs> super, super glad you interrupted my story to do that. To be fair, it was a stupid story. Uh, this is your, you guys have two more today and tomorrow. The last That's day it. to get this 
amazing print uh, featuring Kevin as Slimer and the rest of us it's as so Kevin's good. minion. It is my favorite thing we've done in a very, very long time. Uh, well, second favorite. We got a fun little thing coming tomorrow for everyone. <laughs> The Ghostbusters short is coming tomorrow. That's going to be really okay. fun. Yeah. So look out on Instagram and Twitter and all those things for that. Uh, but yeah, definitely go over to patreon.com slash kind of funny. Uh, back us to the fan tier and you'll get a signed photo in your inbox. Your real inbox, your IRL inbox. I think they call them a, uh, what do they call them? Mailbox. Yes. That's what they call them. Your the IRL best. inbox <laughs> is a mailbox. That is true. <laughs> yes. uh, do you have a like, new profile picture, Nick? What's that? Do you have a new profile picture? Uh, I, I change that. I change my Instagram profile picture all oh. the time. Oh. Yeah. You can click on that and see what it is. It's uh, it's from uh, Greg's Ghostbuster. God, I hate. I, I don't like looking through your Instagram. That before. one is the mo the first one. If you scroll down, that's like the most Nick picture. Oh, yeah, this one, this one. like it, it makes you feel something. No, you know? the one above it, I think, is the most Nick yeah. picture. Where well, he yeah, just like, like that's like a hot peeks Nick at picture. you through the crowd. That fucking shirt, dude. I love that's it. It's a good shirt. Go back. Can we go back to my Instagram real quick? I just want to. I want to point something out, real quick. Are not this one. Go back to. Uh, no, I'm not verified, sadly. Uh, but one day I will be, and probably before Greg. Go to the one where I'm horribly winking down there on the left. Yeah. Um, I said, show this to your mother. Great caption. All right. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely great. Even better response from someone's mother. And Mrs. Takagami. <laughs> oh my God. Responds, we'll always have Modesto. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. I love Which it. is what I wrote on her picture. There it is. We'll always have Modesto. I love it. On the picture that's currently prominently displayed in my parents' so, entryway. So absolutely. Good. I sent one to my parents too, and they framed it and put it up. Love yes. that. So now my brother has to see it every time he goes over to <laughs> their house, and he goes over a lot more than the I best. do. Uh, next up on housekeeping, it is Extra Life Weekend. Get out it's there, true. get out there with some cash and support those big, beautiful kids. You guys can still buy the Extra Life shirt if you go to kindofunny.com slash L shirt, and we will start streaming Saturday. Uh, El Shirto. El Shirto. It's another option. Oh, yeah. Uh, Saturday, 10 a.m. is when our stream starts, but of course, we're doing a ton of community streams leading up to that starting Friday at 2 p.m. Um, so you guys can support those. Also on Friday, we have been invi invited over to IGN to go stream with them for a few hours. So we're going to be doing that uh, starting at 2 p.m. <laughs> go over to IGN.com. Me, Greg, and Tim are going to be streaming a bunch of fun games with Brian Altano. Uh, I'll be the chat moderator. Yes, you will. So if you want to uh, say anything and you want to get that, you want to finally be, for be heard on IGN, you come to this guy. You see what I'm saying? All mm -hmm. those all those things you wanted to say hey, to Fran Mirabella. Me. Oh my god! Josh McCoogle, <laughs> ladies where did he and come gentlemen. From? <laughs> He's here, baby. We surprised the big Nick for his birthday. Ladies, and his it's birthday. my birthday in January. <laughs> <laughs> hey, What's up, Nick? What are you doing? I uh you know, we've been coordinating it, these guys, yeah. and we uh, thought we'd give you a little surprise. Oh, I came fantastic. up to visit my brother and I was like, yeah, come oh, on, cool. cool. I love it. Good to see you. Do you want to be on this show? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna take my place. Okay, cool. No, 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 that's that was the plan. Oh, that, that was, was the plan the whole time. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get on shock mic, though, for this next bit. Yeah, yeah I, need, I still need you on shock mic because yeah. we're still going to talk about it. Yeah, How you been? I'm good, buddy. Yeah? Look at all this Diet Coke. Yeah, you want one? What's you want, ready? You want a party <laughs> with me? Is LaCroix the, is the Diet Coke the new LaCroix? We're trying. We're trying oh, to get okay. the sponsorship okay. going. Uh, they haven't we're quite not. Not they haven't quite sponsored us yet, but they did send me a free hoodie, so there is <laughs> there is that. Nick, apologies for cutting you off earlier. Josh walked in, and I was like, oh, fuck, I need to get this bitch moving. I respect that. I respect that. So you're up for your brother? Yeah, just hanging out with some fam, and I uh, figure when I'm up here, you know. We got I took, to it. I took a Caltrain to a BART, wow. and then I walked, and I stopped at a cafe. The devil's I, connection. I told the hostess, or the, the barista, that I wanted to be the next host of Jeopardy. He goes, I don't see it. <laughs> This oh, honest, honest. San Francisco. A couple of things I want to talk to you about. One, that's amazing. I want to talk to you about that. <laughs> yeah. Two, the the dad pic that you took, oh, where yeah. you did the mustache, uh -huh. the best thing ever. It's coming. That was the best thing. Ever. We got November coming in hot. Are we doing know? it? Oh, Are you doing whoo, it? You better do it. I can't do it. Tim, Tim yours would look extra. Tim, you should do a mustache. I just shaved down, man. Yeah. You just trim yours down. Yeah, I had the bush going for a bit. I liked it. I liked the bush. Yeah, yeah it was too much. See, what too, I like about you is you get, you get, you just get the clean. I gotta, I gotta sculpt mine a little bit. Mm, mm. That's what I gotta do. You, but you got a good under. Yeah, we've talked bit. about the big up. Yeah, you guys both have healthy beards. <laughs> really good. Have, I mean, really it's, it's no Kevin, I, but it's so disturbing looking at you guys. It's like you are the same fucking person. I know we I told, all so look this alike. Way, this is what I told you guys. Like, I was like, if I ever die, 
in a freak accident, sure. don't tell anyone. Just get Josh up here. <laughs> don't say anything. Mm-hmm. Just refer to him as Scarpino mm-hmm. and see if anyone notices. It'll we, be fun. We should do a, like a bizarro kind of Superman day. Maybe Maybe when they release that Superman video game in 2038, yeah. Yeah. whenever that comes, we do like a bizarro. I'll just show up as Scarpino and you show up as Makuga. That's perfect. Easy enough. I, I want to jack this for jack the show for sure. a second, Nick. Yeah. What's the deal with the Jeopardy thing? Because you're going on. You got a hashtag and everything. Oh yeah, I've got shirt. it all. I brought you guys buttons. I've got <laughs> stickers. Oh, yeah. I've got all kind. I only have two right now. One for Tim and one yeah, for Nick. Yeah. Kev, don't worry. I got you, buddy. I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> I've got you know t-shirts. This is hashtag Josh McCuga Jeopardy. If you Josh McCuga four Jeopardy, four Jeopardy. The number four. If you guys want to go support? Let me see your shirt. There we go. There it is. There you go. There I had a graphics guy make this. I was like, looks close enough. I'll take it. I love it. <laughs> so uh, you so, look a little like John Hamm in that, which I like. <laughs> There it is right there. Hambone. That's the hambone. I love it. <laughs> mm. So, uh, yeah, so we, you know, started the hashtag. I've been talking, this has been my dream job since I was 10 years old, right? My mom asked me what I wanted to be when I grow up. I said, Alex Trebek were a regular at a bar. So we stopped <laughs> watching Cheers and we just kept watching Jeopardy. You got right? the regular at yeah, the bar thing. Though. Though. Done. I think you know that. Done. Yeah. Nick came to hang out in LA and everyone was like, Cook, stop. He's like, like literally every bar in a 40 mile radius. We walked <laughs> in and was like, hey, Makuga, what's up? We went to Barney's Beanery yeah. and he knew, he knew, like, not just the servers there. Everyone there knew him. <laughs> like the people that were go- the people that had never been to that bar before, <laughs> still knew him. I love like, it, hey, dude. what's up, Josh? And Even like, the waitresses that started a month earlier, they're like, oh, Makuga, we've yeah. about you. Yeah. 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 We, have, we have a picture of you in the back. Yeah. Just watch out. <laughs> so you don't just want to get on Jeopardy. You no, want no. to he wants host. I want to be the host. That yes. is ambitious, yeah. and I respect the Thank hell you. out of that. How so, how much longer is Trebek going to do it? For? Well, so he sort of announced that he may retire in 2020. Okay, right. So as soon as that was announced, uh, my Twitter blew up. Like I had texts from people I hadn't texted in a long, long time. They're like, this is your chance. Now you got to do it. So we shot this like teaser trailer. We hosted, I like created, wrote, and did an entire Jeopardy episode of Collider one day. Okay. Uh, my mom was one of the contestants. It was pretty funny. Love it. And uh, Janina Gavankar, you guys know Janina? Yeah, I know Janina. Yeah. Janina. And uh, my buddy Freddie Lockhart, who writes for the show, Funny You Should Ask, it's like a Byron Allen kind of late night game show. It's with comics, like yeah. asking funny questions. I know of Freddie. I don't yeah. think I've ever met Freddie. So, um, I shot that, shot this teaser, and then my buddy is pitching a documentary kind of idea around about like me as a certain, like who is the next Alex Trebek. Oh God, you gotta do it. And then uh, we went to a taping, a friend of mine at Sony got us in the front row for a taping. Um, So I bring all the buttons to the show, right? And the guy who's on the Clue Crew, his name's Jimmy McGuire, he's wearing a Steelers lanyard. And I was like, dude, I'm from Pittsburgh, go Steelers. He goes, oh, you know, I'm from Squirrel Hill, yada, yada, yada. And uh, he's like, how many buttons do you have? And I was like, a lot. And he's like, give me them. So he hands them to all the writers, all the producers at Jeopardy, the marketing girl, everybody. Oh, shit, in dude, the, we're it, making money moves. In the, in the commercial break, right? Because they shoot the show pretty much live to tape. Alex may make one or two mistakes. And he, in the commercial breaks, he comes out and takes questions from the audience. So he goes, uh, you know, there hasn't been an episode that's gone by this season where somebody hasn't asked me about my retirement. There's actually a guy in the crowd right now who's campaigning. He's made buttons. He's here. Does that guy want to stand up? And so I stood up. My wife, like, blacked out. She grabbed my leg and I was like, I have to stand up. Yeah, I got to stand, stand up. up. Stand up. So when Trebek tells you to stand up, you stand, you stand up. up. So he, I stand up, he goes, you know, where are you from? I said, I'm from Pittsburgh, but I live in Los Angeles. And he goes, you any broadcast experience? And I kind of gave him my resume. And he goes, well, good luck to you. And everybody was like, yeah! I love it! Because yeah. they're like, you basically got the, you're not getting the job, but I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to stop you. Know? you. I'm not going to stay in your way. Like, you've proved yourself yeah. a little bit to Trebek, which is like the hardest person to prove hey, yourself you to. you know, I just, I put it out there and, you know. Does he ever break from that? Like, one of the things I love about Alex Trebek is he's almost like, as far as energy, the polar opposite of you. Yes. Well, he's always in that, that, that 80 to 81% area, uh-huh. Uh-huh. you know? He's never dip, dipping below 80%, nope. never going really above 81%. No. He's just there. And he's always got like one one-liner every other show where he's like, oh, so you're a nerd. And you're like, oh, wait, what? That's yeah, that, that really biting, like cuts to the core of you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like I might hate all of you huh. thing. Alex. You're like, Alex, you, you, hate, you hate life, don't you? <laughs> you're not that happy wow, with this that's, situation. that's brutal. There God was bless a, him. There was a funny behind the scenes with him. I think it was for like a Forbes YouTube kind of a thing. And they were like, um, how do you feel about people? And he goes, people are why I drink. And I was like, oh, you're the host of the game. Damn. Like, Did you have a bottle of scotch what? underneath his podium? Oh, like, yeah. See, in another world, he just wanted to be a regular at a bar, man. There that was you it. go. The flip I, side. You flip do you, side. Have you ever thought about like interviewing Alex Trebek and just being like, what is your how what has your life been like for the last 80 years of I, doing I Jeopardy? I want that so bad. 80 years? Because how long has he been doing Jeopardy for? I mean, thir- this is years, season right? 35. Jesus, Damn. for the season love of God. Man. So 1984, 83. Was the first season of Jeopardy? Wow. 
That's insane. Before that, it was like it was a just a regular game show, but it wasn't syndicated. Then it came back because it ended in '73, and then it took a 10-year absence, and then it came back in '83 with Alex Trebek and it syndicated. It's Trebek, all over the world. Do you think he still enjoys doing it, or do you think at this point it's every it's Groundhog's Day for him? Every day is the same. Contestants are the same. They're all nerds. You gotta imagine he likes it, right? I think maybe he pushed through that, you know? Yeah. Maybe it was like awesome for the first 10 years, uh-huh. and then there was a slow, like, this is the drinking period, right, where it was like right. 10, to, 10 to 20. Now he's on 30, he's like, you know what, we're going back up, we're on the we're on upward swing. He shaved the mustache, a whole new man. He grew a beard at the like beginning that. of this season. I don't like it. I think I may be him for Halloween tomorrow, but I'm not sure. Oh my God. Just go full mustache, How, and then lead me right into November. I love this. You know? Okay, rounding this topic out, because I can talk about this a lot. How... Can the people in our community yes. support this? Okay. How, what do we need? Is there a petition we need to sign? Do we need to donate money? Do we need to just send CBS or NBC? What, so what, Sony what, owns it. Sony, Sony. Do we need to send all of the, the no. team bottles of alcohol? So that, okay, so I've got pins. Like, what do we need to do? I've got pins. This is a business card, okay. right? Business on the card. On, on the back of it, it's it all business. Is, it certainly is a business it's, card. It's all business. Well, here's, I got stickers this for you guys too. Don't worry about it. Yeah, okay. This is a cell phone. <laughs> so on the back, it says, tag Josh McCuga and Jeopardy on social media and say, I want Josh McCuga to be the next host. Hashtag at Josh McCuga for Jeopardy. Can we, can we, can we make, put his one down a little bit so he doesn't look like my little brother? <laughs> I'm sorry, it was sent to Tim. I'm no, no, no. I will, if you ever see me, I hand these out. I put them everywhere. I take them everywhere. I put the stickers wherever I can. I give buttons. I probably bought 1,500 we buttons. We have the guy for you. Okay. If you need to get stickers in the streets. <laughs> cool, Greg. All right, so tag out Josh Peter, tag out Josh Peter. Wait, why don't we take a picture of that? Oh, no, this is going to be, we're going to put this, we'll put this in the description. Okay. And we'll get it all out. Slide it yeah. to the But here and it is. And then just, uh, you know, tag at Jeopardy. Give me my one. Here it is, right there. Yeah, can you guys see that? No, it's got to be close to you. It's focused. Can you it's see gotta it? has got to be focused. Is it here? There it is. Oh. Now it's in focus. There Take it. a Boom. screenshot, enlarge, and then... Dude, right now, you look legitimately like Carson Daly. Like, that's last call with Carson Daly right there. Do I do I have the lackadaisical, I don't care about anything that Carson Daly has? <laughs> no, no, no. You have a nice, uh, joy, joyous energy. That, Car- Carson Daly Carson Daly had that thing where he's like, I've banged Lindsay Lohan one too many times, and it's just dragged me down to the depths of everything. Everybody, <laughs> you know I mean? All anybody ever thinks about Carson Daly is, remember when Tara Reid broke up with him live on MTV? It was Tara Reid. That's what it was. Lindsay Lohan. I thought it was the same person. Tara Reid. Jesus, God. Oh, man, I hope you get this. Thanks, I hope you get this so much. And I just want to go to it. I don't ever want to be on Jeopardy because I'm dumb, but I do want to go to the first day and be like, that yes, would be yes, so yes. It's so funny to have you on Jeopardy. Yeah. Though. God. <laughs> I, I, would, I would just ring it in the front. Like, I would just do it, like, ring the thing, like, right off the bat, <laughs> just to see if I could get it before everyone else. And then when they came to me, they'd be like, like no, I, I, I still don't know. I don't know. Yeah, what the when you go, the thing is, when you go to a live taping, like, you watch on TV and you know the answer right away, or you, like, say it at your TV, there's so much going on that it, it takes you a little while to get acclimated to the fact that you have to watch and then hit because there's a big light that pops off on the, yeah. the screen of oh, yeah. the thing that you don't see on TV to mm. know that you can chime in. Because he has to finish the question yeah. before you can, before you can get it. In. I would just be spamming yeah. the button. Yeah. Hoping. That's what if I, if I know the answer, like, because you know that sometimes they know the answer to the question. You know the answer to the question before they heeds that reading. So you're sure. spamming that fucking thing, like, yeah. like a goddamn morphine drip in the hospital. <laughs> oh, give it to me. Uh, it's a dark time there for Nick Scarvino. Now it's fun. Those are all, these are all positive fun, fun things. <laughs> these are all positive fun things. Man, we got a great story for you today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me finish this up real quick. And then, okay. oh, no, that is, that is the end of housekeeping. Real quick, if you guys want uh, to support us, if you guys want to give us a tip, we'll take tips at the $5 bubble level or 500 cheers. Today is October 30th. Tell you what. I've really enjoyed this Halloween season. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be sad when it's over. I, guys, I, I can't tell you how much I enjoy these Ghostbusters videos. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I'll show you the short that we have coming Oh, my God. Tomorrow. It's incredible. It's the best. I lo- there are two things that I love in this world. There's shirtless Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's there's shirtless Spider-Man, and yeah. there's your guys' Ghostbusters. Now there's Thank also you. shirtless Ghostbuster Spider-Man. Shirtless Ghostbusters. Yeah, uh, oh, I did see that. Somebody, yeah. somebody decided that that would be a good idea to hover over me in Toronto, and oh. I was like, we're going to kick you out of this country. They're not going to let us back in. <laughs> Canada doesn't fuck around. They don't, they don't around, want you in the country. They will just kick you out of the country. What the hell? They're, they're awesome such a life. nice people. Yeah. Uh, are you? So you're going as Alex Trebek? Are you guys doing anything fun? Well, so the misses and I were Sandy and Danny, like on Thursday of last week. And that for, looked uh, amazing. Oh, thanks, man. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. From, from Greece. Greece. From Greece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah, so good. yeah. 
Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Alex Trebek, and she she bought some costume that she wants to surprise me with. I, that doesn't it sounds like oh, it's sexual. I think it's, just, it's gonna be like she be hilarious if she was the podium. <laughs> she, if she was one of the podiums. <laughs> she's just, she's, she's, she like, or she's it. a contestant. You know, with the podium. <laughs> right? I would love that. Yeah. I would love that. Uh, real quick, we'll go through a couple tips, and then we'll go into our first new story. Oh wait, real quick, yeah. I don't know if you guys saw it. Uh, Spider Man, the game announced today that they're gonna have shirtless back hair Spider Man played by me. Oh, that's fantastic. Damn. I could yeah. step it up. So. No big Big deal. Could also double that for myself. I haven't <laughs> manscaped in a while. My wife just keeps looking at me. She's like, "It's too far gone. Yeah. It's too far gone. We have to purge this with fire now." Yeah. You know, my little niece goes, "You're a little woolier." <laughs> <laughs> like that's a really nice way of saying yeah. uh, my back is hideous. It's Don't just, show it's it to disgusting. people. Disgusting. Yes. Uh, Blake Mason said, "Hey, Uncle Nicky." Uh, he gives a tip and said, "It was great seeing you and Greg in Toronto. Love to hear what you thought of it, uh, the fan edits that I gave you when you uh, get a chance to watch them. Much love." He gave me fan edits of the uh, the prequel. Star Wars oh. prequels. He did that for a, uh, for a college three? thing. Yeah. So oh. I'm gonna, I'll probably skim through him at some point. He gave me a little thumb drive. That's nice. awesome. Yeah, it was fun. I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to go back and uh, re edit uh, like The Last Jedi to Out of Existence. <laughs> you uh, are one of those people, huh? Yeah, yeah. Man. one of those people. Movie, Just. <laughs> <laughs> so it's <was good. laughs> yeah, there's, there's always there's always five seconds where, where it's like, are we gonna go negative on it? And oh, then Kevin and I just yeah, I you know it just feels so hard. good to go to the dark side. I legit, something, legitimately something. got hives because of how like upset I was and not able to talk about it. The yeah. only time that's ever happened to me is Indiana Jones Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Oh man, well they're making another one, so <laughs> that was a really that's upsetting time. Yeah. It was, was a dark a really time for me. Yeah. It was a dark time. Uh, DJ Kento gave us another tip and said, uh, Today is a good nerd day. Finally, Batman the Animated Series is released in HD online and on Blu-ray. The restoration is freaking gorgeous. Pro tip, the HD version is on DC Universe's <laughs> new streaming service if you don't want to buy the box set. Uh, Colton Nestler said, I know this... Uh, I know I sent this link last week, but I c can I get the champ to check this tweet out? I'd like to clip his reaction for my wife. And he, uh, and he gave us that... What was this? Oh, yeah, it's a good one. So my wife and I are listening, okay, this is from Colton Nestor, it's at 123Colton on Twitter, it says, so my wife and I are listening to at Game of Greggy and at Tim Gettys on the Early Access GOG, and at Nick Scarpino said something about his wife. My wife just sighed in disappointment that at Nick Scarpino wasn't <laughs> single on our honeymoon. <laughs> hashtag producer, hashtag seducer. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Oh, that's amazing! But I love my wife, so we'll just keep we'll just keep going. Uh, let's play PSX. Gave us our final tip for now, and said today's the day. I'm streaming for 24 hours for the big beautiful kids over at twitchtv slash psx Mixer two at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Help me stay awake, then get those sweet sweet uh, donos in for the KF crew and team. Uh, kind of funny this weekend. We're doing an extra live stream this weekend. Oh, nice! 24 hour stream for the kids. Nice for the Children's Miracle Network. That's awesome. We're trying to save some of those big beautiful kids. I love you it. Ever seen a kid? I have. They're, They're amazing. Great. They're great. <laughs> They're gorgeous. Yeah. Can't can't live without. I did a dance marathon in college. You had to stand, no sitting, no sleep for 50 hours. Jesus! How do you do these things? Hours. That's not the only one of those you've done, right? Didn't you do something else like that? Yeah. I tr well, we did like a. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was a yeah. flash of that. One, the one I'm about to say traumatized yeah. me. Yeah, that one. Well, the one in college, we, we raised like eight million dollars for pediatric cancer. So That's it was like awesome. it was a big deal. That's great. The one out here was for 30 hours, and it was just a single hosted live stream because I wanted to break the Guinness World Book of Records. That's what it was. That's right. And then like four days later, some guy did like a 33 hour one, and I was and like, you're what? Like, Go the fuck on. yourself. I didn't pee for like 20 hours. Oh, this is I bonkers. Do that. I would have had a catheter yeah. myself. I drink yeah. so much diet. I gotta pee right now. Look Look at this. Are this you okay? Would you no. like a Diet Coke? Right? I'm concerned. I am concerned. Well, here's the thing. To me, though. It's because there's no coffee in the office that's but cold and pre-made. I'm pretty sure that there is. <laughs> hey, I, there's a place down the street that if you get a caffeinated drink, she'll insult your hopes and dreams. Is that, is so, that the small little dinosaur place? Yeah. Yeah. I want to be the next host of Jeopardy. I don't see it. I'm like, oh, right? No, 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 right. I think he's talking about Foglifter, which I told you. There you go. Oh. That's what it was called. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Foglifter, fog they're, they don't believe in customer service no. in that place. Uh -uh. I've been there multiple times when they've looked at me and legitimately like, give me the look of like, I don't want to help you right now. Legitimately, like, I don't iced care tea? about this business. I'm like, I didn't insult the iced tea, too. Dude, there was, there was one point where there were three people, well, they've changed over now. I think it's a different management. But there, there was one point where we all walked in and they, where there was like five of us and they were just they're just shaking their head. They're like, no, this is five too many. We don't want you guys. And all we wanted was salads, and they were like, we don't want this. They were we high as fuck. two people quit on us. Yeah. Two. Literally just walked two. out. Two separate events. 
Or just people like disappeared it's, and they're like, oh, they're gone forever. No, they quit. Is 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 it when the waitress found out that Scarpino was married? She just quit. She yeah. was done. Man. No, they were. So, they, I think the waitress was so high she didn't give a shit. <laughs> she, if anyone was married. She was out. She was just. She wanted to go do some Bikram yoga and call it a day. Done. Bikram um, yoga. We're gonna, <laughs> Kev, let's bring up. Well, let's let's go into the news. But before we do that, uh, I want to do this news story up up top. Okay. Is that I okay for it. you, let's Tim? Let's do it, dude. Uh, let's get let's, right so, into let's it. go straight so into right this. So right now I'm hiding it, and then I have Tim there. You guys oh, that? oh yeah. I like Look this. at sexy so Tim right there. there. There I am. I'm so impossibly red. Yeah, why are you so red? The, are, is, the gra- is the graphic not working? Is that why we're not doing the graphic? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Let's try it. Did you go tanning? Yeah, it's not working. I don't know why no. it's not doing audio. No, I'm okay. Very white. There it is. <laughs> All right, yesterday we talked about a friend of the show, Belinda Garcia, and mm-hmm. how she did something amazing on Instagram. Unfortunately, because she doesn't want to be a real professional, her Instagram is private, oh, okay. which is weird. But Tim called her and talked her into putting all the pictures and all the captions on Twitter. And boy, we're excited about this. I can't wait for you so, to see so this. So Belinda okay. Garcia, friend of the show, um, storied host of Kind of Funny Games Daily. Um, she will be back again. Okay. Uh, you can follow her on Twitter at BBC Garcia. And uh, you're going to want to do that after after you see the, the series of photos that she decided to, to make. Every time she goes to Disneyland, she has a series called Park Hub. Park Hub? Park, like amusement park. Yeah. Hub. As in Pornhub. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, what she does, uh, please reveal, Kevin. Uh, Let's go full screen on this, Kev. Wait. There it is right there. Oh, uh, there. already? So no, then, I mean, can we just go full screen on just the pictures? We don't need, like, all, all of us in there. <laughs> oh, uh, give me a second. <laughs> you have twisted Kevin's mind. Oh. Well, it's just not a normal setup that we do. Oh, here. there we go. Oh, uh, oh, little Josh, oh, little oh there we go. That's so what she does right is she, she recreates no, Pornhub no. thumbnails and... Titles, headlines, okay. um, but with Disneyland food. Yeah. Um, so here we have hot Asian deep throats, two monstrous churros for the first time at popular amusement park. <laughs> Hashtag park up. That's amazing. Um, and there's more. <laughs> there's more. Oh, God. What's Can you give me the caption, Kev? Scroll over the caption oh, there, Kev. No, you just click on it, it and then scroll oh, over okay. it. Yeah. There you go. Sorry. Cute amateur girl swallows mouthful of cone, POV. <laughs> That's the dedication to detail. <laughs> but what's amazing is that, yeah, did she let, like, how did she get, and is, is that the, what those things look like what, when you no, buy them? Yeah, or did she have to, like, let it drip? The because no, that's she, the frozen dude, banana, like, she in, goes uh, in and, and gets it right. You know what I mean? There's detail, there's but, artistry to this. Scroll off this so we can see the full effect. That is just, and I also love, <laughs> I mean, respect to her for holding her own hair back. Yeah. Because that's a, that's a real woman right there. Yeah. She don't need no man to Quick hold her question. hair back. question. Let's have a, just a brief conversation. Are we going to get in trouble for this? No. No. It's okay. a cone. It's an ice cream cone. It's I'm a, just how saying. How do you eat an ice cream cone, I haven't even cone. seen an F word. Hey. All right. I you have to, there's only I one way to eat an ice cream cone. you got to put it in your mouth. This young girl gags on boyfriend's giant corn dog, guzzles load of cheese. It's so good. But Please. like, look at the cheese. <laughs> I see the cheese. You know what the best part is? Is that the, the Pornhub caption is so perfect. specifically perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Well, it's just like, how I is love- this girl not a best selling author? I don't know. This is the best. Oh Great, my here we go. Uh, this is the latest one in the series. Experienced annual pass holder impressed by explosive, messy, thick caramel facial. <laughs> <laughs> but what's, what, so, so this is why this is dedication. Because you know. When you take this picture, you are going to be sticky the rest of the day. Uh-huh. Do you the see what I'm saying? There's no, you put that, there's no way you're getting any of it. Look, that's in her hair. Mm-hmm. I mean, you have to. It's got in her hair. Maybe it's a little on bit got shirt. In her it's on her shirt. Oh no! Yeah, that's just the a sticky dude, factor. It's the yeah. dedication, man. You need to bring like extra. You need Clorox wipes for your face to get any of that off there, which is terrible for your skin. But also, if you think about the other side of this. There were families walking around yeah. whilst taking they some sure of were. these pictures. <laughs> now I'm sure, right? like it looks like she's gone into the shadows over there, uh-huh. like in the smoking area, yeah. which Disney used to have. I'm Meanwhile, sure the line for the Matterhorn is right it. there. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, my favorite thing about this is as we were talking about uh, showing this on the morning show today, uh, when we were talking, she goes, God, you followed me on Instagram as I was on my way to Disney, and I was like, oh damn, Tim's going to get some quality content in a couple days. <laughs> I love this so much. Does she, live, does so, she live in Southern California now? I don't know where. No, where I think she she's. At. I think she's up here. Yeah, I think oh, she's okay. in East yeah. Bay. So okay. yeah. Okay. But uh, what, what I, this is one of those ideas that when you see it, it's so good that you get jealous that yeah, you didn't think of it. You didn't think. Yeah, it. I'm like, why didn't yeah. I think of this? Yeah. Because yeah. so this, way, I could totally get on my knees and, and chug a churro or yeah. two. Yeah, dude. Why not? <laughs> chug a churro. Like, chug a churro. <laughs> I feel like you would do it in a way that you would get in trouble. You think so? Yeah. You think I would just think it over? See, you would you would make a noise while you're doing it. That, like, and I can hear that noise in yeah. my head right now. It and just sounds it, like this. 
Oh, Ew, God. No, oh, no, no, that wasn't me. Oh. I definitely thought it was going to be more like oh. a Kevin type the, noise. The noise Kevin. that I was hearing yeah. was you going, eh. Oh, eh, like that one? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> a good goat that's getting its belly scratched. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Linda. Go follow her at BBC Garcia. See, this is the line. I'm going to leave you guys. Yeah. On Twitter. You're no, leaving? No, no, I think he's still leading you for the No, I need you for the All right. All right. Bye, Tim. Bye. See, see you later. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. It's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's quality that's a visual. Thing, guys. But see, that's what's so fun about that. That's that's just a, uh, there's a line being crossed there. I just don't know where it is. Because I, I would have shot put past that. There, yeah, there's I would have gotten kicked out. If I did that, I would have gotten kicked out of Disneyland. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Then for you sure. would have been doing a jerking motion, making that How noise. Do you, it's a still picture. How do you know she wasn't making that noise and because doing a jerking motion? that's not the smart thing to do. <laughs> that's fair. You know? But I just, I don't know. The smart as thing an to artist, do is quietly in a corner do it while no one's noticing. But, you, but, sit there but as an like, uh, artist, Kevin, <laughs> we don't know. Josh and I don't know where that line is. No, we, we don't define lines because we don't think in linear space. We're not. We're not mathematicians. I'm or telling scientists. you, the line is a jerking motion and a moaning sound. Okay. So okay. do you think that she put any of these on things. stories, like, and had sound? I hope so. Right? Because we'll, we'll reach out to Belinda so. after this and see what's up. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right. Is there a mo- one of those motion scrollovers? God, I hope so. Oh god. Or like or, or a boomerang, where it's like. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, God bless it. Yeah. All right, Kevin, next news story. Now, I told I put this on here ex- specifically for Tim to walk me through because I don't like reading. And he just dramatically walked out. And away. he just dramatically walked out. What's going on with the, with the new iPad Pro and the Macs and all that jazz? Are you a Mac guy? No. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, I'm a Mac guy. Apple guy? Okay. What do you think I am? Hey, what are you in Every once in a while, you meet one of those weird assholes that's a PC guy or an Android guy. You and dude, you're like, getting a Dell? He's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Come on. I mean, hey, I had a gateway laptop Kevin, my freshman Kevin, year of college. Kevin, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? No, that doesn't make sense. That, that doesn't make any sense. I don't get that reference. Is he, is he a green texter? Yeah, he's, he's such a fucking green texter. Oh, and it blows no. my mind. I'm because I'm proud of it, dude. Slimer every, over there. That's every right. five or six texts, he just, I just hear, like, we'll be on group trips, yeah. and he just won't show up to something. And I'm like, oh, man, I didn't get the text. Or he was like, or, or he'll be somewhere and be like, why aren't you guys here? And we'll be like, we didn't. None of your texts came through. We don't Bullshit. understand it. You guys just or leave someone me. gets dropped from the group. He's, he's lying. He, they just leave me. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll be at VidCon, and I'll be like, hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Don't fucking leave me. And they're they're like, all right, yeah, we'll for sure be here when you come out. And I'm out. They're fucking gone. Yeah. yeah. Twice. Yeah. Twice has happened in one day. <laughs> You got you, you, when you have a kid. Kevin, you got to be you got to have that head on a swivel, buddy. Got to have that head on a swivel. You know, one day you're gonna have a child, probably. Yeah, probably. Or at least one of us will by accident. Yeah. And <laughs> you you got to teach that kid how to be on its own for a while. Oh, wait, yeah, for sure. Like, there's nothing that was more important to me than the time I got lost in a J.C. Penny. Yeah. And security had to bring me back to my mom. I learned a lesson there. That's and the that plot of was, like, don't hide up the skirt of the mannequin. Ah, uh, smart. Yeah. I mean, that's where you're supposed to be. You know, I mean, that's like that's the fun place of the J.C. Penney as, a, as a kid. Yeah. yeah, he was trying to go to your home. I'm just trying, just but, trying to go home. But the, the gremlins just trying to eat. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, I, <bet. laughs> I don't know what that was. Kevin, so what, what's the big news with the iPad Pro? Uh, I mean, the big news is that it's changing to a USB C type charger, which is fucking awesome. Do you think all Apple devices are going to do that from now on? I mean, on? I hope so. I know that the laptops have also uh, introduced. Uh, I still have this one. Yeah, basically. you got this back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, mine still uh, works off of this. So that's really exciting. Magnet. Proprietary magnet. Also, they did something similar to the iPhone X, where this uh, the big one is now a smaller size, but has the same screen size as the previous twelve point three one. That's smart. Yeah. So it's also a little bit thinner. Overall, faster in every way. Here's um, here's what they actually did. They made it not a touchscreen. It is now just a computer. Flip the whole script. That's it. That's They're it. just going backward. <laughs> uh huh. Like eventually, we're gonna get we're gonna sell you a typewriter. And you're gonna love sooner it. or later, the new iPhone is just gonna be the same size as an iPad. They're just gonna slowly get to that big size, and the pockets in our pants are just gonna get bigger. Dude, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, this is a really pretty iPad. It's, it's pretty. Gorgeous. It's, but you know, they just always the border they're, is even smaller. They're, they're now just oscillating back and forth between the two. They have two major design aesthetics. At, at Apple, they have the Apple, the iPhone five and the iPhone six. That's pretty much it. Right. One's a little bit more rounded. One's a little bit more squared. This one's a little bit more squared. There you go. That's fantastic. I do need a new iPad. Though. Here, here, are you an iPad guy? Um, I have an iPad in my living room that yeah. my buddy gave me because I officiated his wedding. Yeah. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bought one. But they're nice. Officiants. There it is. Um, I. Uh, How many have you done? I'm at nine now. I just did a, another nine? one. Damn, yeah. you surpassed me. I'm at. Jesus fucking Christ. Two. Yeah. I'm at two. Okay. 
I did my buddies in Paso Robles uh, a few weeks ago. It was the first one where I had to do a religious part of it. For, uh, he married a Persian girl, so they had to do a, this, they read this poem, it's this sofre ceremony, and you got to do this like rubbing of a sugar cone. It's actually pretty sweet. That's pretty fun. Yeah, it was an outdoor wedding, crushed it, quoted some yacht rock in the ceremony. Did you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, yeah I, I had to do the, like, uh, you have to go get your license or whatever, because they had, they got, my friends got married in Temecula County, and okay. you had to be, there's a couple more extra things you had to do for it. And Imagine. I was like freaking out. Yeah, oh, okay. Because like in my brain, I'm very, I'm a very paranoid person. Yeah. Kevin will attest. If I park in a spot and I'm a little too far over to the left or right, I gotta repark. Oh, me too. Gotta I'm with you. We're very similar. You know that. I know. Like, he's like fun. Like he's parked fun. One day I'm gonna meet your mom. You're fine. And it's gonna be my mom. <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, how, how <laughs> did we not know this? I didn't understand. It was a crime of passion. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but um, uh, with the wedding, I was like, dude, I, I don't know if I can do this. Yeah. Because if I fucked up something and it turns out 20 years from now that you guys aren't married because of me, I'm never going to forgive myself. That's once, how my brain works. But once they get that marriage license, like that, it's it's game over. You're, yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, I, I, but I'm still worried. I'm still, I still have like nightmares of my Oof. buddy calling me up and being like, hey, you fucked something up and now we got to get remarried. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a licensed minister of the Universal Light Church. I, I got that too. Yeah, yeah, I got, got that too cool. just in case. Yeah. I went and I did the class and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, I actually went case. to the county of LA and did, did got like really? yeah, got my like legit accreditation to Holy do it for that day. Moly. But then I went forward and said, "This is what I love." There's two parts to me. One that's like super can't break rules. The mm-hmm. other part that says, "Now that I've got the ability to marry everyone, I think I'm a police officer." Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so there's that too. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure I can arrest people now, right? Isn't that how that works? Citizens arrest! <laughs> Citizens arrest! Citizens arrest! Burbs, great. I, I got audited three years ago because I claimed that I was a clergy member to get out of paying taxes. <laughs> and Did you really? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Oh they, my god, that's I, so fucking funny. I sent funny. it into my account and he's like, uh, they're definitely going to audit you. I was like, are you sure? He was like, do you work at a church? I was like, no. He's like, they're going to audit yeah, you. Yeah, they're going to audit you, bro. So he sent it to his buddy that, that was is like so funny. a legit tax attorney and he was like, oh no, yeah, he'll get audited 100%. Yeah. He's, cl- he's, let's be honest, so you let's ask, is he lying? Either. Yeah. Oh no, I sent it in. Hey, yeah, why not? Oh, yeah. I mean, how'd it go? That was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't get audited, it's no. really bad. Yeah, that yeah. sounds, that sounds really bad. Though. Really you... stupid, oh, I'm fine, I just had to, uh, I just, you know, I mean, I set aside the money that I figured I was probably gonna owe if I did get audited. And the the IRS guy, you know, you get all the bad rap for like the IRS guy. The IRS guy came, we became buddies, I got his number, we text every now and then during did. Steelers games. Of course you guys did. <laughs> You're the only person. The IRS, like, you can't even call the IRS. No. They have all these rules and regulations instituted yeah. so that people don't get personal with them. Right. And within five minutes, you're watching Steelers games with your friend. The guy was really nice. I mean, I showed him, I was like, he's like, all right, listen, you, you're considered a licensed minister, but really, you don't work at a church. And yeah. we, we get it. You did this for a wedding, so you shouldn't claim it. And then he, like, looked at my thing. I had all my receipts and everything. I mean, I'm pretty diligent with that thing. But he was like, all right, you still owe us this much. And it was literally like, a, I got to send it into the guy, but it's yeah. like, this is your number. I mean, <laughs> it's worth it's worth doing, I guess. The guy to be like, you know what? I'm gonna give you a pass. Yeah. And then you just don't have to pay taxes. What's well, kind of like fighting a parking ticket, just way more stressful. Yeah. Yeah. You know? and except you're probably gonna lose, and you have to pay a lot of money. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. yeah the parking yeah, tickets. Uh, I don't think I've ever fought a parking ticket here. Oh. But you, dude, I'll teach you. How to fight? You fight everything. I got one time. I got a speeding ticket, mm-hmm. and I don't know why. But I just decided, I'm like, I don't want to pay this ticket, and I don't mm-hmm. want to go to school, so mm-hmm. I'm going to hire a lawyer. Oh. And I hired one of those traffic lawyers, and she was like, I got you. Here's what we're going to do. We had this whole plan worked out. She went to court. He, the guy didn't show up. Um, it so was you- like 300 bucks down the drain. <laughs> It was, See, way, by the way, way more than what the ticket would have been. Uh, correct. To yeah. get her, like, I think it was equal to the ticket, but okay. then had I still had to pay the ticket, it would have been more. It doesn't matter. It was completely stupid. Well, you, you also didn't have to deal with the point. Well, the guy even told me, like, this is, like, like again, cops it's, love I think me. it's like 87% that they don't show. No. I, the guy, I, I got pulled over. This was the last time I got pulled over, knock on yeah. wood. And uh, I was speeding. I was late to an Xbox gig. Okay. And I was driving my buddy's car, which Ooh, was crazy. It's like yeah. the only time I've ever done that. I was like, okay. I don't know what I was thinking. Do a full Gran Turismo. I was going through like the the Broadway tunnel. Oh. And they were just a, I, I like I saw them. There was like four cops lined up. They were just <sighs> radar gunning me. I pulled over. I was like, listen, I'm late. This is like my get my job. I, I can't be late, but I'm, I'm stressing out. And like I know I was speeding, but is there any yeah. way you can let me off? And he's like, like I was just cool. And he was like, I never go to court. <laughs> So he told you ahead Yeah, but yeah. I still I couldn't take that chance, Kevin. You're so God, you're I couldn't take that. Loser. He didn't he didn't tell me like Kevin. I never got he was just, I think that his phrasing was uh he was like to be honest, man. I know like I sometimes I don't show up to court. Like he gave he gave me like a little like wink, I'm not going to show up, but he it just enough for my paranoid brain to be like what if this is the one day his starger's like you got to start showing up to court. So I hired a lawyer. I 
I have fought in e literally, legitimately every ticket I've ever got. Okay, you know those, and I've tried every creative thing. I've pretty much got out of every one except one time a motorcycle sheriff, LA sheriff, showed up. And he also showed up for the other 20 people that came to court that day. Oh, this guy was just one of those ticketed madmen. He was just that guy you know? who was like, I'm trying to make lieutenants. I was going like 43 in a 35 and he pulled me over. Mother. Oh, that guy's just... That's eight miles over the speed limit. I mean, that's uh, really that not That guy that. just enjoys being the law. I mean, a bird goes that fast yeah, for that's Christ. ridiculous. So, I went through one of those the things where they take your picture. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm. Right through it. And can it, you fight those? Well, you can try. Uh, they, if you can say, like, I wasn't driving the car or uh, some, you know, you, there's ways you can if try and fight it. If the car is registered for someone else, too, you can be like, I Correct. don't know. I don't the know. The great thing is, yeah. here's what we do. Okay. We get this. We, here's what we'll do. We'll buy the same car. Okay. <laughs> okay? And then if I get a ticket I with us, already I'm like, the same car. it wasn't me. And then when they go, so that's you. And then I'll just show a picture of you in your car and be like, or it could be this other guy who I've never <laughs> met before who clearly drives a Honda Accord it's, as well. It's, he's clearly, it's a, what are you, I mean, 2007? I'm in 2005. Oh, uh, man, I got 2007. There it is, done. Thing. They'll never know. Uh, Did you end up getting out of it or no? So my plan was, so first of all, it shows up in the mail and it was legitimately a headshot. I was looking right in the camera like, <laughs> like it's you clip it out and you're like, this is my new headshot. You send it to the Jeopardy people. I mean, it was so blatantly me. So I was wearing this blue shirt and I was like, you know what? I bet if I create a photo situation where it looks like I threw up on myself, I can go and be like, I got sick in the car. I was speeding home because I, there was throw up all over me. I don't know why. My, what? I don't know I what that it. is. Yeah. It's so stupid. It's so random. I've taken the pictures. I've taken this whole thing. I bring it to the judge and he goes, listen. This is the most creative way anybody's ever tried to get out of, <laughs> and also one of the most disgusting. Yeah. You still get it, points and driving school. I was like, ah! yeah. It's the only one I've never they don't beat. Care. Is the, is oh the man, flashlight that's ticket. the one. That's your great right whale. <sighs> and then they shut down the the picture thing yeah, like three months later. Yeah. Supposedly they don't do it anymore. I, I they kept them up in San Francisco. Like they're still the the, the machines are still there. That's the fear, and right? I think it's just fear. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I had heard as well because yeah. there was there were I guess it's illegal. Yeah, it's entrapment. Yeah, because you basically, yeah, that, it was something easier than that, or I, I, I had heard something about uh, you have to. There's no human element to it, so there's no like. Oh, uh -oh. I don't know. Who yeah. the fuck knows? But I'm glad they don't. Thank they don't God. Work anymore. I like this. Just, in Italy, you can't speed without those things fucking taking pictures of you. Yeah, really? like, scary. Yeah. I'm freaked out. Like, I, it, the first time I went through one of the toll booths, and it just takes a picture and sends you the the feed. I was like, this is freaky yeah. weird. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is strange. Yeah. All right, uh, we have a few more minutes left. Before we do that, I'm going to take a break for a second and tell you about our sponsors today. We have two wonderful sponsors of the morning show. Quip being the first one. Uh, Josh, one of the most important things we do every day for our health is Guess brushing what? our teeth. Guess what I own? A Quip. A Quip. Do you? I do. Isn't it great? It's a fantastic toothbrush. They are. They it shipped me out. one. I liked it too. One of the things I like about these Quips is that it's the, it's got the two minute timer <laughs> and it tells you which quadrant to get every thirty seconds it pulses. You go to the next yeah. quadrant. Turns out, uh, I have been brushing my teeth. For approximately 15 seconds, <laughs> my entire life, because I was like, "This is an eternity. I don't know what's going on here." Uh, but if you have never used uh, an electric toothbrush, give Quip a try. Uh, they sent me one. It looks cool. I like the way it looks on my on my uh, my countertop for my my uh, what the hell my bathroom. Uh, uh, let's see what else here. What it's got the plastic right? carry tube, and you can flip it over to make it a travel one, which is fantastic. Love that. Love that very much. Uh, you guys definitely check it out. Uh, three out of four of us use brush that are old, worn out, and ineffective. That's why uh, they'll ship you some free brush heads with your order. Let's see, Quip starts just at $25 right now. If you go to getquip.com slash kindoffunnymorningshow right now, you get your first refill pack uh, for free with a Quip electric toothbrush. Your first refill pack free at getquip.com slash kfms. Go check it out. Josh likes it. Dude, there you go. And it's sexy looking too. It's I'm good just looking. telling you. It's a yeah. good looking toothbrush. I yeah. I mean, I think my wife married me for my Quip. Mm. Mm. Damn. It definitely wasn't from a, you know. Well, we'll talk about that <laughs> off air. Our next sponsor is Robinhood. Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos, all commission-free. They strive to make financial services work for everyone, not just the wealthy. This is a very non-intimidating way for stock market newcomers to invest for the first time with true confidence, simple and intuitive, clear design with data presented in an easy-to-digest way. Uh, right now, other brokerages charge up to $10 for every trade, but Robinhood doesn't charge uh, commission fees at all. You can trade stocks and keep all of your profits. Uh, they have a, a really easy to use uh, design with charts and market data so you can place a trade in just four taps on your smartphone. Uh, learn how to invest as you build your portfolio. Right now they have a great deal to get you started. Robinhood is giving listeners a free stock like Apple, 
Ford or Sprint to help you build your portfolio. Sign up at morningshow.com. Uh, excuse me, morningshow.robinhood.com. That's morningshow.robinhood.com uh, to get Robinhood and start your investing. Is, hey, plan for your future. Let's get some investing going. Is, is Taron Egerton part of that? Or Jamie Foxx? I don't think so. Uh, oh, from Robin Hood, the movie? Yeah, is that... Are you looking forward to is that Is that movie? a layup? No. Are you kidding? Do you know what's on that weekend? What's on that weekend? Wreck-It Ralph 2 and Creed 2. Oh, that no, weekend. That's, not oh, that's a bad weekend for them. Me? Mm-mm. And Mm-mm. I'm supposed to believe that that Jamie Foxx is Friar Tuck with like Michael Jordans in medieval times? Come on, it's 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 an interesting choice. Yeah, Specif- especially given the fact that the last Robin Hood movie that I can remember yeah. did not do well. No, the Russell Crowe, the Russell Crowe one, Robin Hood, yeah. which was I think Ridley Scott. Ridley right? Scott yeah. was just not, not good. the best. Yeah, not good. I mean, they, what the problem all these Robin Hoods ha- have up till now mm-hmm. is they don't have that classic song. <laughs> <laughs> that Robin Hood Prince of Thieves had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? The Richard I was Marks. A, I was is it a, Richard Marks? I think it's Richard Marks. Uh, you know, that, that song is what brought people to the theater. Oh, I thought you were going to say Brian Adams. Is it Brian, it's Brian well, Adams? Brian, right? I, well, I, think Brian, I think Brian Adams did the... Everything I do, do I do, do it for you. And then like cut Costner, like sh- sh- split in the arrow. I can't tell me. And that was... worth dying for. <laughs> Mary Elizabeth Mastro. <laughs> oh, 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 come on, can't son. tell me. Because it's because of her that I had a I had a crush on another girl in high school because she had the curly hair. Oh. And I was like, oh my God, you look like Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck are you God talking bless about? You. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man, have you, have uh, you seen that movie lately? Robin Hood, Hood Prince of Thieves? Yeah. I, I, you wanna watch it? It's not very good. Oh no. It's really? it one of the yeah, few movies that we go back time. and watch it like this is a hard this one didn't, to watch. This didn't hold up. Yeah, Alan Rickman great in it though. <sighs> Because a spoon would hurt more. <laughs> uh, of course, we give away a game with our... Uh, hey, Joe. Let's go. <laughs> and Joe will find our person right now for that. We'll give away that game in just one second, of course. Uh, let's go back to tips real quick. We'll talk that. Tips. And then we'll go... I got it. Oh, you got it, Joe? Just Tell tips. people who the winner is. I'd, I'd like to... Or not? Or I'd like not? to point out that Joey is the one that... She and I arranged this whole surprise. I appreciate that. Therapy. I also want to point out, Joey, terrible liar. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing, which I told Josh earlier. Yeah. So, because I was like, "Wait a minute, are you and Josh planning something special?" And she just went deer in headlights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this what you told me that she saw? He's so the email? we were looking at something at Tim's desk, me and Tim and Nick. Yeah. And I had sent Tim and Greg earlier, like calendar invites, like, "Hey, don't forget that this is a thing that's happening, like on this day. I don't want you guys to like." book other guests or whatever and tim because he never <laughs> checks his emails had it like right at the top <sighs> and i we were looking like at, we were trying to figure out like email filters or something but the like thing that. is i didn't see that it was prior to that it was like two weeks ago or something that but someone then had I said thought, something and i was like oh maybe josh i was like maybe josh come out yeah. and then somebody said something like maybe he'll be up when you don't know it and i'm like yeah. are you guys gonna surprise me <laughs> Maybe. And then you forgot. And that's what I forgot, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But then it was just one of those, like, things where it came up, maybe, was, like, in our Coco last week, and you're like, oh, yeah, it's like, Josh coming up soon, and I was, then that's when I was like, I, I thought you were totally pulling, like, a, I'm going to pretend like I don't know and say something, but then I, I thought you putting, had seen no, the thing in I was just putting it out in the world. I just wanted it to happen. Manifest. Yeah, I don't know. Manifest. I don't actually make things happen. I just put them out in the world yeah. and they come back to me. But I totally thought I got caught and I got stressed, and I was no, DMing great, Josh, Josh, like, though. I think you found out. And then, no, I don't like yeah. surprises. I'm not good at them. I like surprises when it's this. Oh yeah. I don't like surprises when it's like your birthday. Hey, you're getting a ticket. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> something like a bad surprise. One Joe, of those. tell yes. people what they want. Okay, so I am going to scroll over. Um, so the winner from the Twitch chat was Bloodbath Billy. Woo! Oh. Can you? Do you have the doc pulled up? Can you tell us what? Dude, Bloodbath Billy was one my. Hero uh, One's Justice, does that sound right? Yeah. On PS4. That's that very exciting. Game? There you go. I was excited about that one. Of course, if you guys want to be entered to win every day, you can be in the Twitch chat. You can be a Twitch subscriber via Amazon Prime, or you can support us on either of our Patreons at patreon.com slash kindoffunny or patreon.com slash games at the $2 above level, and uh, we'll make that happen. Of course, uh, if you guys support us at the $2 above level, you'll get to watch GOG live, uh, and there's going to be one later today. It's going to be fun. So there you go. Josh. I think I'm going to be here. I assume so. I didn't know as much. I was like, I don't know anything about this. So I don't know if Josh is going to be on this or not. He I was about to say is. with Josh, but then I was like, well, he's up here visiting his brother. So yeah, this is going to be a good one. Because the last one you were on, and I quote, you left and they were like, and Greg was like, I really like that Josh guy. He did great. But he said it in a way where it was like, I like him more than you. How do we get him on the show more and you on the show less? Never. And I was like this. Never. 
I'm not offended by that. Because it's true. It's real true. They talked about you for weeks you're afterwards. The best. Weeks afterwards. Best. This is going to be a good one. It's, a big, it's, a great, it's already a great day. Listen, Let's I love you guys. Let's off everything else. Let's do lunch. Let's do a podcast later. Yeah, How's perfect. that sound? It's I feel like when Josh doesn't come. Yeah. I, I thank you guys for, uh, first of all, thank you for, you know, the communication and doing it all yeah. of it, Joey. Yeah, Joey. Uh, good job. Good job. Kevin, I, I always silly. appreciate you. All the boys, great seeing you guys at Comic Con. I think it was the last time I saw Tim. I mean, I saw you in LA when you came and we yeah, remember we went out. That was fun. Party. The Comic Con, uh, by the way, I don't know if I got a chance to talk to you guys about that. That's a, that was a great show. Oh, thanks, man. You guys did. You guys went to the American Comedy Co. and yeah. you and Mark and the boys from yeah. Collider uh, through a two hour long show where it was just shenanigans. It was, yeah. And I got so drunk off of the terrible Moscow mules that <laughs> yeah. they serve there. They're bad. It was just vodka ginger ale. It wasn't no, even ginger it was, it was like, a, like you, I was like, can I get a Moscow mule? And she was just like, she gave me the look of like, Wave off, like wave off, Don't like that look that, that Ashley Judd gives uh, Val Kilmer in Heat, where she's like, <laughs> yeah. and, I, and I was like, I, I still want one anyway. And you could tell it was vodka, and then the we bought this at Costco Moscow Mule mix. Uh-huh. It was fucking bad. bad. And I felt like shit the next day. Mark Ellis and I went to a Buffalo Wild Wings one time, and he ordered a mojito. Now, why would you do that? A Buffalo Wild Wings? Was it I was. Good? I ordered. No. A, I, ordered, <laughs> I ordered a mojito at a pool in Vegas the Oof. last time I was there. Yeah. And it was uh, it was the worst drink I've ever had in my life. They just life. like blend up rum and mint leaves, and there just was no blend. It. Again, it was literally just they, like, mojito, no problem. Glass, ice, pours into a uh, mojito mix. mix yeah, that was it. I'm like, yeah. what the? Well, I'm like, yeah. where's the artistry? And the guy's like, you're at a pool in Vegas, bro. <laughs> you're in a plastic cup that's Those people are from Wisconsin. <laughs> they don't care. They don't care. Is there cheese in that mojito? Is that cheese in that uh, Let's go back to some tips real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Lesbian Jedi has given us a tip and said, happy birthday, you beautiful bastards. Uh, DJ Kanto said, hey, Makuga, favorite recurring Jeopardy categories? Question mark. He's asking oh. that question. Uh, before and after is my favorite. Because it's like, you know, so I when we did my episode that we shot over at Collider, it was, uh, it was like celebrity before and after. And so it was uh, walkers from this show invade a English class led by Robin Williams. So it was the Walking Dead Poet Society. Oh, so those are good categories. Get it? No. So like the this first is part is the first smart. part of the, the clue. Uh, I see. Second part is the second part of the clue and you put it together. So like the Walking Dead Poet Society. The Walking Dead and then Dead Poets Dead Society. Society. Got yeah. it. That makes sense. Oh. This is why I can't ever. This is why I would lose yeah, Kevin, Jeopardy. Kevin got there. Do they have like Jeopardy for idiots? <laughs> That's what you gotta do. Yeah. Here's what you gotta do. You guys, you gotta do Jeopardy. Okay. You gotta do the Jeopardy that you want to do. Yeah. Okay. But then do another show Jeopardy every week. Light. That's Jeopardy for dumb shits. We could call it Joshberty. Would be the. That would be great. The, the you know the podcast version. And like I want it so that it's just it's not even a contest. It's just okay. you asking me questions <laughs> on your couch. Yeah. 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 That'd be great. Do it. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh, uh, DJ Kento continues with, "What would you keep the shows? Would you keep the shows chill environment or atmosphere, which is also almost like the first ASMR show BTW, or would you pump it up? Would you ma- would you make any changes? Keep it pure? There's a lot of questions in here, but what would you do to the show? What's your pitch for Jeopardy once you get once you get it? Well, the we'll show the show is already pretty much perfect, right? It's 61 questions, including Final Jeopardy, right? right? It's as it, far as a format, it's perfect. as far as a format, but it's I feel perfect. like energy wise, yeah." You're gonna breathe new life into this. So show. I'm, you know, obviously a little bit more energetic than saying Alex Trebek. You wear a lot of plaid pants. Uh, I will, yeah. Uh, I was thinking every Friday I wear a loud mouth suit. They, yeah. you know, they'd clothe me with something crazy and loud. And on Fridays, I'd want a guest musician to play the Final Jeopardy song. Ooh. So like, have the Foo Fighters come in and be like, doo, 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 you know, that, that kind of thing. Amazing. Or like a DJ or like a funk band or something. That would they be come so in fun. And, they, and do the really Final cool. Jeopardy on Friday. Can I can I make one request? Sure. Just to pay homage. Once you get this, to mm-hmm. pay homage to the great. Uh, late Alex Trebek. Yeah. He's still alive. Uh, you got to do a suit that's all over print of his face. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You got to wear it at least once. All Alex Trebek. I'd probably do like a Canada suit because, you know, he's Canadian. So I was is he Canadian? It. Yeah, he's Canadian. I did not know yeah. that. Yeah. You have so many Jeopardy facts. I've been watching a long time. I mean, it <laughs> is. Loves Jeopardy. The, the, the Makuga family, it is a bone of contention. Like, my mom and dad used to keep score. And yeah, there you go. There you oh, go. he's taking the card. I got, don't worry, Joe. I got stickers, cards, buttons. Perfect. I got everything for you. Um, <laughs> I, well, I may even frame like a larger one just for you, just for your office. I'll take Sign it. it. I'll yeah. put it in there. That's great. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Uh, DJ Kento gave us another tip and said, hey, Tim, Tim, how about that Metal Gear thing? Hmm? Also, hi, Josh. Josh, moved to, uh, moved to the Bay Area so Nick can be closer to his uh, untwin. Untwin? Is that is that a word? Twinsies. Twinsies. Uh, I don't know where Tim went, and I don't know what the Metal Gear stuff is, so I'll talk to him about that loudly, later. he'll probably hear you. No, he hates it when I do that. He's doing a call or something. He is the one that hates it the most he when we yell it. in the what, would, what if I yell? You can yell. Hey, Jim! <laughs> oh, the Tony is perfect. Connor Story 97 said, Josh, you are the you. fucking man. You kill it on Collider Live. I'll be oh, rooting thanks, for you uh, to be the host of Jeopardy. P.S. Go Sabres. Oh, he's a Buffalo Sabres. There he is! 
Tim Gettys, everybody. What's going on? What's DJ Kento said, what's happening with sexy that? guy. How do you feel about the Metal Gear thing? Oh, DJ Kento last night DM'd me uh, with some cool news that Adi Shankar mm -hmm. uh, is teasing his next project, which sounds like it's going to be another animated project in the okay. vein of Castlevania. Oh. Oh. Adi yeah. Shankar was on Collider Live yesterday, too. Oh, really? I think he oh, talked about it on there. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. Very fucking cool. Very cool. Um, and DJ Kento, well, it, it, I forgot the date. I think it's like Thursday or something that they're going to announce the, whatever it is. Like That's what he was teasing. Um, but he was saying that he was talking with a famous Japanese game company. Mm -hmm. and like, and there's only one. He's doing. And there is only one. Yeah. So DJ Kanto was saying he's thinking Metal Gear, but the internet's saying they're thinking Zelda. And with the you rumors of the Zelda, Zelda Netflix series before... Metal Gear would be... I mean, I'd prefer Metal more Gear. More of a for, link for His guy. style would be really cool. Oh, I'm in for either, man. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Interesting. <laughs> Let's Interesting. go. All right. Thanks, Tim. Love seeing you, buddy. Yep. All right, guys, we're calling. Yep. Let's call tips right now. It is 11.54, which is uh, the inverse of 11.45 when this show is supposed to end. We're going to go into the chat real quick, into sub only mode. You guys can ask Josh more questions. And then we'll round this bad boy out and maybe get some Mexican food. We'll see what happens. So wait a second. Yeah. Is, are we talking about Nintendo or are we talking about Sony? Because they're both Japanese gaming companies, right? Isn't Sony Japanese? Yeah, it's all, yeah. It's all Japanese, yeah. Okay. Uh, the, he was talking about Kojima Productions, which, well, actually, uh, that would have been, uh, sorry, not Kojima Productions, that uh, would have been Konami, Konami. Konami. Who owns Metal Gear, oh, so yeah. is it Konami or Nintendo? I, I feel like Konami makes makes more sense because it's coming from Castlevania, right? Isn't that also Konami? Is it shocking? Yeah. the wrong person. Yeah, yeah, that is. Yes. Yeah. So that makes more sense. Is it shocking that, like, in this whole landscape of video games, movies, now TV shows with The Witcher and Henry Cavill, all that kind of stuff, yeah, that's weird. that we still haven't seen a Contra movie or show? I mean, it just makes sense. It's two brothers fighting in a jungle, yeah. then in the snow against an alien. Oh yeah. My God. It's basically Predator, it's the best. but better. Can I get you guys to make a Contra trailer? Uh. Can we do that? Yeah, but the whole movie has to be like filmed with them just jumping up in, in layers. Yeah. <laughs> I it's, hated that level so much. And then there's kid. the one where it's you're laying and the things are you got to jump Got lay and beep, 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 Contra was beep, so beep, beep, fucking dope. It was so dope. My brother and I, hard. my brother and I had that to a science. Oh. We could beat that thing in like we, we just one run through. Yeah, no deaths. Yeah, just really no deaths. Oh, dude, we were crushing it. Well, by uh, no deaths, I mean we did the up, up, down, down yeah, thing 30s. where we got to like hundred yeah. lives, or whatever <laughs> yeah. it was. It was great because the game's impossible without thirty lives. I mean, no, you, if you can get to the third board on three lives, you are. I mean, that's. It's godlike status. Oh, that's man. that's back hair Spider Man good. My brother plays Contra still. He bought an NES. Like he keeps buying NESs just yeah. to relive the glory days. Yeah. Hooking them up on like eighty inch TVs, even though they're still playing Sander Def, mm -hmm. and he just plays Contra constantly. It's like nine office. pixels. Oh god, he loves it. Yeah, he loves it's it. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. Let's go into the chat real quick and said Nick. Uh, let's see. Party Man three four five says Nick. What is your ideal video game movie? Question mark. Uh, one that's good. I. You know what is kind of an underrated movie. In, in my opinion, as far as the video gaming system goes, is the Mortal Kombat movie. It's actually not terrible. The I, second one is awful. The we second one's bad. I'm saying the first one with, with yeah. uh, Veronica Vaughn. Yeah. And that Veronica Vaughn. Yeah. Uh, I, wa I went and saw the first Mortal Kombat in Marino Valley, California. Okay. My buddy Ryan and I went to see it. Okay. We were the only, there was like five people in the theater Sounds the right. weekend it came out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, there's no way this movie's gonna be good. And if you remember correctly, it starts off with the Mortal Kombat theme. Yeah. It's Mortal the Kombat! Dun, 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 dun. And it was so fucking loud yeah. in that theater <laughs> that my friend and I, we covered our ears, but we both looked, and I was mouthing him, this is fucking awesome. And he yeah. was like, yeah, it was. And the rest of the movie was just a great ride. Yeah, it, it was, was just a great ride. Was, yeah. It was so, it was so. Can you, meet you, can you imagine bad. what we could do with motion capture and Goro? Oh God. You know, I mean, it there's be, so much we could do with Prince Goro. I, it'll it'll be interesting though to see if they're actually what like what the first uh, video game movie is going to be. That's really the breakout that starts that revolution. Because Warcraft but kind of bombed. Warcraft did not do well. Did not Assassin's do well. They've been trying to. Assassin's, Assassin's Creed, Creed was, was terrible. Was real bad. Uh, well, actually, I, I should say I didn't see it. It looked terrible, but Ooh. I didn't watch it. I've I've tried to watch it all the way through multiple times and caught it in like midpoints of HBO. You know, mm -hmm. like thirty minutes in, twenty eight minutes, whatever. It's, it just never really gets good. I try. You know what's funny is I tried watching the uh, the Maze Runner, and yeah. I liked the first one. Okay. And then I, I watched the second one. Then by the third one, I, I had it, it. So long had passed. I started watching the third one. I was like, I don't know what the fuck's going yeah, on. I forgot. Looked up the Wikipedia, and I was like, I don't. I don't care this much about this. I mean, they're still in a maze. Why am I doing this? It was, but it was in that. And I, I, I think we're kind of getting away from it, but we're, it, it was in that 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 genre that just kept going was just like hot teens games, running. Yeah. It was just hot teens running, yeah. right? Yeah. Maze Runner, The Scorcher, 
Uh, not Scorcher. That's from Scorcher, Scorcher was amazing. Was Scorcher was the man. Was amazing. Yeah, what that, was the other one? You had Hunger um, Games. Hunger Games. But well, there was a third no, there one. There was a third remember? one there with a... Shailene Woodley. Shailene Woodley. Yeah, but I don't remember which one. Which one? Oh, Divergent. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Man, those so, were bad. Yeah. yeah. They didn't even make the second half of the last one. Oh right? God, I don't no, know. No, they, they tried to release it on Amazon, and they were like, nobody wants to do it. She Dude, was like, I didn't sign up to do a show because they were like. We're gonna do the last movie as a show. Yeah, and, and she was like, like "Fuck, fuck you! I have a real shit. career. Yeah. I'm not doing that shit." <laughs> I was in a Clooney Woodley. movie for Christ's sake. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's ridiculous. Shailene, she was in the Descendants. Descendants. Shailene Woodley was also like too busy blocking the or blocking the uh, North Dakota pipeline. Oh yeah, she's, she's a very, very political. Very political. Very political. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Joe, what about what do we got? Tomb Raider? How do you guys feel about uh, the Tomb Raider? Not good. Either iteration. I like the Angelina Jolie one. The one from uh, Alicia Vikander was good. I just, I didn't know why they made another one. It's just yeah. the same kind of movie. It's a retread. I it was agree. like when they did the Andrew Garfield Spider-Mans. I was like, really? Do we, like it doesn't, at least with Tomb Raider, there was more time that had passed between right. the Spider-Man iterations. I, I mean, I haven't seen the original Angelina Jolie ones in a while, but I remember liking them as a kid when they came out. Yeah, she, I, but I kind of feel like she's a little more badass than Alicia Vikander. Am I wrong? Alicia no, Vikander has a nicer face than... Not, I mean, they're both beautiful. What I'm saying is that Angelina Jolie has like that more stern-looking. I'll fuck you up face. Um, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I got more like, Well, that I was the, that was the point of her though. So they were riffing off of what the game was, which was like kind of an origin story. Okay. But I was watching the movie, and I'm like, this just makes me want to play the game. Yeah. Because there's a lot more Tomb Raider elements in the game. Like the yeah. original, I, I only played, I think, the demo for the first one. But that's when you start in the cave and all that stuff, and you have to figure all the traps to get out of the way out. I'm like, this is Tomb Raider. We didn't actually get to that until like an hour and a half into the movie, and I'm like, what is yeah, the point valid. of this? Yeah, but What's which, the point of any of this? Which is why I think that the Witcher TV series, I think, could be awesome. That could be amazing. With, with Henry Cavill. Yeah. You know? And, I mean, you could do a lot of these games over, you know, on a Netflix or an Amazon Prime or Hulu, whatever, and give us a little more of the story from, like, the eight, which is why I'm psyched about that Mandalorian series coming out on the could Disney be cool. thing. Could, could be, be cool. cool. Could yeah. be cool. Could be cool. Uh, let's see, we'll take a couple more questions in the chat and then we'll wrap this bam boy up. Uh, let's see, Mr. Yasman300 uh, comments on a story that we were going to talk about. He says, what are your thoughts on the IT director helming Attack on Titan for Warner Brothers? Um, I love IT. I think he's a great <laughs> director. I don't know that you can make a great Attack on Titan movie. That's a really tough... What they said about Watchmen, you know, they figured it out. Watchmen was a little you bit more of a Watchmen? straight one-to-one. You didn't like Watchmen? No, uh, I did not like Watchmen. What? I'm not a big fan. Yeah. I, I, I liked I'm huge. Watchmen. I okay. loved it. Really? Yeah. Not liked it. So are you looking forward to this HBO Lindelof series? I don't know. I, okay. I haven't read enough about it. It's, it's, it's we don't not... need more Watchmen. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just, it, well, they it knocked does. it out of the park. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a prequel, it's, right? It, no, no, I think it's a sequel. No, it's just a different imagining of the book. Is it? It's a totally unrelated. I don't think unrelated. we need that. I don't think we need that. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like the changes they made. I think I need it. to go back and watch it again because when I first watched that first Watchmen, I don't think I was in the right headspace and I was just yeah. kind of like, I can't deal with this giant blue man in his wang yeah. out the whole time. Yeah, I, yeah that well, was one of those. Read, did you like the comics? Uh, I, I have read the first graphic novel and yeah. I did enjoy it, yes. Okay. Because yeah. his wang's all over the place. Oh, I know. That's a big, that's big, a big, big old thing, one. yeah. But it's not in your face in a giant movie. movie screen, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, but it's in your true. face in, in a, like, a full frame panel. You can put it closer to your face yeah, if you want. You want to get you it. You can choose to not look at it. Yeah, the Watchmen movie was one of those where, like, I, I totally understand why people wouldn't like it. Yeah. I just it vibe with me for some reason. Okay. Actually, I, I think I watched that and then ended up going back. Or maybe I did the thing where I, I read the graphic novel like the day before. Right, 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 right. And I was like, oh, this is a cool like, you know, this is Zack Snyder. This is what he does. He takes graphic novels and makes a literal frame to frame one to one. He killed just it with three hundred too. And yeah. that's what he does. Three hundred like, was awesome. I did not really get sucker punch. Like I didn't understand. No, that movie it. sucked. Yeah, that, that was, was a, a bad fucking That was movie. a weird one. Yeah. God, but, that made me mad. You know. I don't think that's based off a comic, though. Sucker Punch is. I think it's a graphic novel. I don't think so. Really? Yeah. Okay. I might well, be wrong. That's the kind of thing where I was like, we'll I want to know if there's more here. If only we had a machine, we could find the answer to that. Looking it up. There's oh, none. Joey. There's none. While Joe looks that up, actually, we are at 12.02. we got to end this show. Joey, okay. if you guys want to tune back in to hear the answer to whether or not Sucker Punch was a comic book on tomorrow's show, we'll totally forget. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Google it your goddamn self is you what I'll tell you. Uh, but if you know and you're watching this on YouTube, put it in the comments so because I'll forget to Google it and let us know in there. Uh, special thanks to Josh for coming Dude. here today. You were awesome. Everyone go over to you? Twitter, tweet at Jeopardy and be like, yo, please make at Josh McCuga the next host of at Jeopardy. Just put Jeopardy in there a bunch of times so they know you care. Tell them that he's amazing. He's got a great... Uh, a sense of humor, he's got great energy, and he'll do three shows a day. Making me blush, buddy. That's what he'll do. <laughs> he'll kill it on a level that he'll bring what Alex Trebek brought 
the first two years of him doing that show. Mm. Back when Alex Trebek had the man mustache. He, he's willing to grow a mustache. He'll oh. do a goatee. No mutton chops, though. Mutton we chops draw the line of mutton chops. Yeah. Uh, high school was a dark time. What's that? High school was a dark time. Oh, God, we chops. all had them. Well, yeah. we, we you know, went to high school in the 90s where it was like, let's grow out yeah. sideburns. I'm going to look like that. That's going to be the singer look. of... of uh, Oh, what's the who sings All Star? I bomb that. I bomb that. Smash, Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth. Yeah. I'll look like Smash Mouth. <laughs> Let's all look like Smash Mouth <laughs> in the 90s. God. Have you seen mid 90s yet? No, I hear it's great. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Okay. Uh, until tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, I love you very, very much. Remember, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, leave the comments. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.